Welcome back to another episode here on the Eternal Sith Network where you get all your Star Wars news. Happy New Year's Day, everybody. It is 2023. It is a new day in the Star Wars universe and fandom. Today, we're going to be talking about everything 2023 Star Wars. But before you do start that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. And once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one. Give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. Twenty twenty three is going to be a big year for Star Wars. We have so many shows to come out. We have shows even going in between each other, which is going to be done for the first time, which we've never had in Star Wars, where we have two TV shows interlude each other or intertwine at being shown at the same time. And we're going to start off with Star Wars's The Bad Batch season two that comes out January fourth of this year, which is literally this upcoming week. I can't wait for it. There's so much to expect for it, seeing Cody, Gunji, Palpatine, even more, possibly even Darth Vader at some point, and to see a young one, because we've never seen this kind of a version of Vader even in animation, so this would be a first for it, but guys, again, so much to expect for, for the Bad Batch, can't wait for it. The next one we have is The Mandalorian Season 3, March 1st, 2023. So much to expect for, for that series as well. That's going to be a good one as there we're going to see a lot, especially it going back to Mandalore, which we've never really seen in live action. So this is going to be an interesting one because obviously we've seen it in animation, but to go to Mandalore and see possibly Sabine Wren, the ghost crew, but we know we're real. Obviously, we know we're getting Mando himself, Bo-Katan. We're going to see a whole bunch, possibly Boba Fett. Who knows? We know that they're supposed to be an all out fight at Mandalore, which I can't wait for, and more Moff Gideon, can I say, and even, of course, the one, the only baby Grogu, so that's exciting to see. Now, the other show that we also have as well is Star Wars Visions that's supposed to be coming out sometime in the spring as well, possibly after, yes, The Mandalorian, so that's another one to be excited for, as we know that that's kind of like a what if. We have a whole bunch of, you know, just sh uh, uh, episodes that are going to be cool that hit the first time. I really enjoyed season one of Star Wars Visions. And I can't wait to get more of them. Now, the next one that's going to be coming out as well is the one, the only, yes, Ahsoka, the TV series, which I cannot wait for, which has been the most anticipated show, I think, of the whole announcement when they announced all the Disney Plus shows apart from the Kenobi series is Ahsoka because we know that that's Dave Filoni's baby and he's at the helm of this. And, you know, that show is going to be probably, if not, you know, one of or if not the best show to come out on Disney Plus Yes, I said it. It's probably going to be the best show because we're going to get flashbacks. We're going to get, you know, dream sequences. Who knows? There's going to be so much. We're getting Hayden Christensen there, obviously. And we're going to see that, you know, to see Rosario Dawson or the younger version now that we know of, as there's going to be multiple Ahsokas or multiple, you know, actresses playing Ahsoka, you know, in that series. It's going to be interesting to see with Hayden Christensen. I personally, I would love to see Rosario Dawson, but it's OK. I'm not going to get mad about it. But there's a lot to look forward to, guys. 2023 is going to be a big year. Also, the other show that is anticipated to come out next year is the last one. That is the Skeleton Crew, which is not a lot of, of that series is really known about it. But it looks like it's going to be a good one. And, you know, it talks about these three kids who are force sensitive with a, you know, uh, I guess adult figure, kind of like the way Mando was for Grogu. We see Jula's character, who is at the helm of that. So we'll see what happens with that series. And the next one that is slated sometime either next year or the year after is the Hakalei. And we've been talking about that series very, very much. Um, I just did a video on that one yesterday. So go check it out because there's supposed to be a lot for that series. I've done multiple videos on it, you know, talking about the dark side, the first Sith base show, might I add. So it's exciting. It's exciting to have all these shows. I can't wait. 2023 is a big year. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today and coming here on the Eternal Sith Network where you get all your Star Wars news and updates on Star Wars. For more content, remember, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. And comment down below, let me know which show you're more or most excited for. Remember, the Eternal Sith, then, now, forever. Later, guys.